All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the next section here. We're going to solve some negative inequalities here. Uh, check out that uh, hilarious little cartoon there about the B positive versus a negative sign. Too funny. So it turns out last section was all positive. I avoided negative inequalities, kind of like I avoid Mr. Sullivan in the hallway. Just don't make eye contact. What does that mean? Well, let's check it out. This is what we were solving last time. Don't write this down, but check it out. We were solving inequalities that look like this. 2x plus 1 is greater than 9. We could do all these cool steps to it, like subtract 1 from both sides. Then we could divide by 2. And then we get x equals, or I'm sorry, not equals, this is greater than 4. So we had no problem. So what are we going to do this section? All we're going to do is kind of throw a negative into the mix. So check it out over here. Same thing, but what am I going to do? I'm adding a negative to the variable. So now it's a negative 2x instead of a positive 2x. That little bad boy right there is going to change things. It's going to mess some things up. Uh, so we got to be really careful when the variable is negative. So what does that mean? Now let's write some stuff down. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we're going to kind of explain what the problem here is. So what is this problem? So what I've got these little circles here, and we're going to fill in the correct inequality. So x is what to 4? So we know x is bigger than 4. So fill that in there. Now when I was doing things to solve, I would like do something like add 5 to both sides. So let's do what this says. It says add 5 to both sides. So we're going to add our 5. Whatever I do one side, do the other. So 8 plus 5 is 13. 4 plus 5 is 9. So what do we know about this? Let's compare 13 to 9 now. What happens here? Well, 13 is bigger than 9. No problem. We're good to go. That was awesome. How about this? This next one, we know 8 is greater than 4. It says subtract 3 from both sides. So can we subtract 3 from both sides? Easy peasy. 8 minus 3 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. And guess what? 5 is still greater than 1. Awesome. This is why last section worked. We can add and subtract, no problem. Can we multiply to both sides? Let's multiply both sides by 3. So we are going to times by 3, times by 3. 8 times 3 is 24. 4 times 3 is 12. Is 24 still bigger than 12? It is. I forgot. I thought we knew that. 8 is still bigger than 4. So 8 was bigger than 4. Times and both by 3, it's still 24 is bigger than 12. So I'm still greater than. So no problems. How about division, the last one here? Again, I think at this point we know 8 is greater than 4. <laughs> kind of keep filling that in. Let's divide both sides by 2. So let me divide that bad boy by 2. So I'm going to say 8 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2. So I'm looking at 4 uh, is what to 2? It's bigger than 2. So I just made these numbers up here. These are just random things I want to do to both sides. Just to show you that, hey, can you add, subtract, and multiply and divide? It doesn't mess up your inequality. Everything is cool here. All of these things are still true. So all of these were positive. These were all positive things I was doing. I'm multiplying by a positive 3 or dividing by a positive 2. Well, what's the problem then? Let's check out the problem here. Oh, no, we have a problem. Uh, this kind of freaks me out here. Let's check it out. This says multiply by a negative 3 to both sides. So we know 8 is greater than 4. We've seen that. Let's multiply by a negative 3. So I'm going to times by a negative 3. I'm going to times this by a negative 3. And what's the problem here? Well, 8 times negative 3 is a negative 24. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Well, is negative 24 greater than negative 12? No, it's not. That's the problem. It's more negative. It's farther away from 0 on the number line. If you think about the number line, here's 0. Here's negative 12. Here's negative 24. That number is smaller than, it's less than negative 12. Oh, that's a bummer. So what happened here? I went from a greater than sign to a less than sign. Why did that happen? It's because I multiplied by a negative. It, it messes things up. That's right, Home Alone Kid freaking out there. Uh, let's try it for division. So multiplication and division are kind of like the opposites of each other. So if we're going to divide by negative 2, what's going to happen? So 8 divided by negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2. So we start off with that 8 was bigger than 4. But when I divide by negative 2, positive divided by negative, this will be negative 4. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Is negative 4 bigger than negative 2? No, it's not. It's more negative, farther from 0, so it is smaller. So check it out. I went from a greater than sign. It flipped over to a negative sign. So that is the big problem there. That's that whole idea of we've got these... Uh, if we divide by a negative or multiply by a negative. So here's the rule. When you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must what? You must flip that sign. So you must flip the inequality. We're going to flip the sign. 
So all we have to do to make sure everything stays equal, we've got a little flippy flip in there. We're just gonna flip the sign. So if you ever find yourself multiplying by a negative or dividing by a negative, you must flip the sign or else your answers are all gonna be shaded the wrong way. Awesome, let's check it out. First, just make sure we're cool with this. If I were to solve these, would I flip the inequalities? Well, when I look at this, am I gonna flip it? Well, let's just solve it. What would you do to solve it? You would add two to both sides. Is that legit to add? Sure, we can add all day, doesn't mess anything up. So would you flip the inequality? No, we're not gonna flip it. Don't freak out. Don't just start flipping everything because you want to. Uh, how about the next one? If I'm gonna solve this, what do I gotta do to both sides? Oh man, to get rid of that, I gotta divide by negative two. There's my rule. You, If you multiply or divide by a negative, yes, we're gonna flip the sign so it was greater than. See how it flips? Now it's going to be less than. So this would just be a yes. So I'm gonna ask you just some yes or no questions. Is it gonna flip? Just do the step. It's gonna be one step. Would you flip yes or no? All right, I see some negatives here in the last one. This is the one that causes problems. Uh, I want to get y by itself, so what do I got to do to both sides? I'm going to do times by three, times by three. Do I need to flip the sign here? Three times negative four is negative 12. No, you don't need to flip the sign. Why? Because I multiplied by a positive three. See how it's positive? It's only if I multiply by a negative or divide by a negative do I have an issue. I don't care if this number over here is negative. It's what you're actually multiplying by. So this is not a flip. No flippity flop here. Don't do it. It's a no, no flip in that. So only when you multiply or divide by a negative is that going to happen. Awesome. That's the bulk of the lesson. Let's just try a couple together. And I'm going to cut you loose, and you can do a bunch of these. Let's solve the inequality. So it's just like last section. We're going to draw the line. Boom. Kind of work backwards. What do I got to do here to get rid of the 5? I'm going to plus 5. We can add and subtract all day. No issues. They cancel. We've got negative 3x is greater than or equal to 24. Keep this train rolling. How do I get rid of this negative 3 in front? Oh, I'm going to divide by negative 3. Uh-oh. There it is. Where's the home alone kid? This is what I got to do. When I'm dividing by a negative 3, I have to know that, oh, no, it's going to flip. So it went from greater than to less than. So it's tricky. It's hard to catch. You can check your answer and make sure. Pick a number less than negative 8. Pick negative 10. Plug it back in. It'll make it true. So there's a flip. That one was tricky. Awesome. Ooh, it's so exciting. How about the next one? Any flippity floppity going on in this thing? Uh, so same kind of steps. It's almost the same problem. I'm going to subtract 5 to start to get rid of this. I've got 3x is greater than or equal to negative 9 when I subtract those. What happens here to get rid of 3? I'm going to divide by 3. Any flipping of the sign here? No, I don't care if that's negative 9. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm dividing by a positive 3, so I'm totally cool. No flip, no flop. There it is. Good to go. I love it. I love it. Last one here. Uh, what's going to happen? Let's solve this. We're going to get y by itself. So let's get rid of the 6. i got to subtract 6 from both sides. So 4 minus 6 is a negative 2. Oh, i got negatives everywhere. Remember, this is a negative y over 3, so bring down that negative. What am I going to do here to get rid of that 3? I'm going to times by 3, and I'm going to times by negative 3 because I want to get rid of the negative 2. So these cancel. The negatives cancel. Come over here and times by negative 3. What do I got to remember when I times by a negative? That's right, it flips, so it was greater than. Now it's going to go this way, less than. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6, and there is my answer. So when you show me that step and multiply by a negative, flip it. When you divide by a negative, like over here, flip it. This is no worries because I divide it by a positive. That is the section. I know it's kind of tricky. Do a bunch, grade a bunch, make sure you're cool on this. Good luck on the match check. Peace out.